I think this year uh, we're in the right direction, but I don't think anybody's satisfied yet. We've played really well at times, and I think we've also struggled at times when we know we shouldn't. But we've definitely come together a lot more, probably through through the thin rather than just uh, winning every game, kind of like in, in the past. I mean, we've only lost, I guess, five games maybe. But So a lot of teams would be happy with that. But at the same time, I think we know we have a lot of room to grow. And I think being on the road all the time, I think this, this group of guys kind of sees the good in that. And the fact that we're together a lot more, uh, we're in hotels a lot more, we're all hanging out and we're getting to know each other a lot better. And maybe that'll help later in the year rather than you know doing our own thing at home all the time. Coach Myers, he always brings the same kind of thing to the table every, every year, every practice, every game. And I think that's kind of a challenge to us to, to bring our best because we know he's not, he's not gonna let us down. He's gonna always come up and ready to fight for us. So uh, I'd say as far as the approach and, and trying to put pressure on teams, that's always been the same. But this team maybe isn't quite as big, but we have a lot more speed, we're a lot quicker, and our, our defense is a lot more sound, I think. I think we definitely are very tight. We feed off each other. We've had a couple comeback wins here at home. I think that kind of shows just how, uh, how everything kind of builds on, on one another and passing off at bats, uh, making great plays defensively uh, for the pitchers, pitchers having great outings, and then getting us in here ready to hit quickly. And I think we're just feeding off each other and uh, hopefully I'll snowball and we kind of just pick up win after win after win and I didn't have to think about it anymore. I was recruited here, it seems like a long long time ago now, it's four years ago, but uh, just kind of as far as a pressure style and lots of speed and we're gonna play sound defense and whether we win games five to four uh, or 15 to two, we're gonna win games. And that, that's kind of what got me is just the tradition here and Coach Murray, Coach Myers, uh, both of them, both of them together. I, I mean, I really enjoyed my visit, meeting people like Coach Colt, just all kinds of people. Everyone I, I met, I really liked, and I know whenever I left, my parents as well as myself kind of knew this is this is a really good place to be. Uh, we're gonna compete for a national championship every year, and I love it. I wouldn't play for anybody else, and I love playing for Coach Myers. I wouldn't wouldn't change it. I think probably my biggest strength is kind of just being. Uh, kind of a communicator on the field as far as I know what Coach Myers wants to do. Uh, I know what all his little hand signals means whenever he's, whenever he's kind of, I don't know, whenever we're on defense and he's trying to tell us anything, whenever I'm on base, whenever on the base pass. So I think that's probably the biggest thing is I can kind of be a bridge trying to help new guys, guys that haven't played, haven't, have been here that haven't played as much and guys that are just now getting into the system. I think that's probably the biggest thing. So I, I can just kind of answer questions and kind of help with it, help them. I really don't think about as far as being quote unquote a leader all the time. I, I know Coach Murray's challenged me, he's challenged a bunch of guys as far as uh, what we want our legacy to be whenever we leave here. And what do, what do we want people to think and remember about us? What do we want uh, the fans to think? What do we want opposing teams to think? I mean, obviously I want the opposing coaches to just be glad I'm gone. And I want, I want my teammates to know I played hard and all that kind of stuff. So I think that's probably the biggest thing is just what I want my, le what kind of legacy I want to leave. And I, I just, I think whatever I need to do to help team win, because that's probably the biggest thing. I just want to help win games. Like uh, Andy Mayfield was the shortstop on the 2003 national championship team. He's from the same hometown I'm from. And I, that's the kind of thing I want somebody else to remember is, oh, who's the shortstop on that national championship team, you know? Because that's, that's probably the biggest thing we're all, all shooting for is win that national championship. The biggest thing we need to improve is just our consistency. Uh, we show flashes of being a really good team from time to time. And we also have some mental lapses. And I mean, that can be physical or it can be mental, but we have some lapses here and there. So I think to get where we want to be, which is North Carolina, uh, we need to keep in mind, keep, take every game for what it is, uh, finish every game, no matter the opponent, respect our opponent, and I think that at the end of the day, we won't have any regrets. As far as getting to North Carolina, that'll take care of itself. If we, if we do what we're supposed to do every day, practice, games, whatever it is, if we do what we're supposed to do, that'll take care of itself. I'd love to go back home to Blue Springs, uh, just because I know the tradition. Uh, it's kind of, it's a lot like here. That's what, as a freshman, I felt really, really confident in coming here because of the way I thought I was prepared, not just on the field, but in the classroom. And I just feel like it's a great tradition, both academically and athletically. And I have a lot of friends still there uh, that I went to school with. And I also am still really tight with coaches and, and teachers. So I feel like that'd be a blessing to be able to go back to my hometown.